Alright, Rat Cage 2.0. I didn't really record a lot about the first one, but now we're going to talk about the second one, because it's actually decent, and it's got stuff in it. Hi, Gray. How you doing, bud? <sighs> He's not in a licky mood right now, because he was just out for like an hour and a half. Um, down there, what they are looking at and digging in is hopefully soon to be their litter box. Um, it's got some paper bedding in it as well as some uh, craft rock bead things and uh, they're they're like glass little rock things you can see them in there and uh, apparently rats like peeing on rocks so hopefully that'll help them to pee in there they've got a little house here which I made out of a dollar store basket container thing a uh, paper towel roll that they haven't been chewing on actually because they like chewing on the fleece more these are some uh, cat toy balls, cat and bird toys type of deals where it's got a ball with a bell inside. I don't do much with them in the cage, but they're, they're like, they like them and they move them around and stuff sometimes. And I've got this other hiding spot for them with a bunch of small, uh, like toddler socks in it. Just for, I guess, nesting material and stuff to chew on, because why not? Um, and then in the back there, they've got the ramp to the second level, which I may remove in the future, that ramp, that is. And then up here on the second level, they've got... <laughs> on the left there, that green dish is for water, um, because their water bottle, which you can see the end of... Hey, Mordecai. How you doing, bud? Oh, there we go. Mordecai likes popsicle sticks. What's up, fam? No, not there now. He's usually really nibbly and affectionate. Um, I think just because they're excited and moving around and exploring. That white dish is for their food. I just bought that at the dollar store today. Um, I used to just stick the food on the ledge there. It, it was in the green bowl for a while, but then their uh, water bottle broke, which you can see. The uh, You can kind of see it there in the back. Right there on screen is the end of it. Um, and it's pretty big so it's not like they'll run out of water quickly or anything. And then next to the ramp here, I've got this little basket with some fleece in it. This just attached to the side of the cage with these bulldog clips. Um, and they love like lounging in these baskets. And I find that it's really nice to have one up against the cage door because it gives you a nice easy place to put them down and pick them up from uh, on that level. Otherwise you're trying to reach your arm in over here and stuff and it just it's not good. Um, I made sure they have plenty of floor space on these levels and that most of their... Ooh, sorry, I shifted and startled him. Um, most of their hiding spaces and climbing toys and stuff are uh, are not on the ground because they're male rats and they like to wrestle, as you can see they're doing right now. <laughs> um, it's all playful, by the way. And then I have this repurposed gerbil ball, which I've hung from the ceiling here. I want to get a better solution to hanging it, because this these twine makes me nervous. Um, but Greg really likes sitting in there. Um, and he's, again, the black and white one. Um, so I left that there from the first cage design. I'm hearing Mordecai sneezing more and more. I think he might need some medicine, too. Um, let's see, what else do I have? There's... Oh, hi! <laughs> Well, at least they're liking the new little house things. Those are just little shelf dues from uh, from Dollar General, Dollar Tree. I forget which one's by me. Then there's this green basket that they just used for the first time this morning. I was going to take it out, but then I saw them using it this morning, and I'm like, oh, I guess I can leave that in. Then this is their favorite part of the entire cage, this hammock right here. They love this thing. They're in it all the time. They sleep in it every single night. Um, and then that basket up there in the back is uh, one of Gray's favorite spots to to sit and lay. What are you doing, guy? Oh, he's chewing on the edge of the <laughs> fabric. And then these two basket dues I added today, and they're hung from uh, tied-up felt. Ooh. Did you get him? But yeah, they do that all the time. Um, 
but I added them in a way that they can there's there's more stuff for them to climb on and jump between see so now now they've got more climbing they can do and uh, I feel like that's more physically and mentally stimulating for them so you can climb and jump and stuff I think that'll be good for them I think they'll like it and they've still got plenty of space to run around on the floor and tackle each other all they want <laughs> This ball, by the way, is uh, angled up a little bit more than usual, but apparently Gray has found his way in just fine. Um, and something I learned about rodents uh, when you use bedding, which I am not in this tank, in this cage yet. I plan on doing it maybe in the future, depending on how things go. But uh, if you use bedding, usually a good idea is to not. Um, to not change all of it when you clean the tank. So take a, take a handful or something and put that back in in a corner or maybe mix it in and it will keep their scent in the cage. So what I've done is I left some of the fleece panels, like the ones in the hammock, um, one of the ones in the ball, these two, no, these two in these were washed. The ones in the ball weren't the ones in the hammock weren't, and the yellow ones weren't. Um, and the ones in there, I think, were. But that way, when it's washed, there's still some of their scent in the, in the tank. Um, or, in the tank, in the cage. Are you chewing on it already? Oh, he's... He's up in the litter box there. So I put the litter box down there because they usually poop the most at the end of the stairs and the, or the end of the ramp and the side of it. But there was really nowhere to put this otherwise. So I kind of stuck it down there. And if they don't like it there, I'm going to stick it up there, like right where that food is on the ground. Um, because they poop a lot up there too. Basically what you want to do is you want to put it in the spot that they poop a lot. And then anytime they don't poop in there and you walk by the cage, you pick it up and put it in there. And eventually, they'll just kind of catch on that, hey, this is where poop goes. <laughs> um, and in the future, I'm planning on potentially removing one or both of the ramps, because most of the time, they just grab onto this edge here and pull themselves up. So they don't even use this back ramp half the time. So really, it's unnecessary at, at most. <laughs> so... Maybe maybe we'll give it like two more cleanings and then I'll try removing the ramp and see what they think. And if it's uh if it's annoying for them and they don't go up to the second level as much because of it, then I'll probably keep it there. But yeah, so this was the this was the overview of my rat's cage, I guess, kind of a cage tour thing. Um You wanna say bye, Gray? Oh boy, if I open the bottom they're both gonna try to get out and I can't keep them in with the with one hand. Yeah, there you go, just like that. They do that all the time. So yeah, they're running around exploring stuff in the new cage still. They're usually not. Oh, around the sound night, they're probably still about this energetic. But yeah. They're cute little guys. Watching Gray. Uh, Gray is hilarious. He'll, uh, he'll pick his ear with his foot and then eat it. <laughs> it's really funny. Alright, you guys want to say goodbye to the camera? Oh my. Mordecai is a climber. Oof, right in the water. You want to say bye? Goodbye. Mordecai is also more of a nibbler and biter, whereas uh, Gray, he licks. Licks a lot, too. You come home after the, after, oh, there he goes. I don't know if I got him doing that on camera here. If you could really see his tongue or whatever. What's up, guy? He's going to try to jump down or something. 
He's thinking about it. <sighs> All right. He's licking. He's cutie. But yeah, we didn't even have to do like any immersion training. Oh, he's coming up to my head. Oh. You good? Yep, he got a little, a little nervous. Oh, sorry, I was watching in real life, not on the screen. They're great, though. Honestly, you will never have any pets more affectionate than rats. And by the way, um, I, we don't think Gray is ever really in pain most of the time when he, when he uh, squeaks like that. Although that is usually what that sound means. Um, but most of the time, we, he makes that sound and it's like, dude, nothing, nothing happened. Um, so we think he may just be a more vocal rat. Just his personality, he's a little spooked easily. Or cat doesn't want to come out right now. Maybe Kyle got him uh, tired out. He's tired of people for the day. That could be. <laughs> because they're making their own little privacy fence with the, uh, with the socks. That's great. Glad he's liking chewing on him, though. That's good. Alright, it's been ten minutes. <laughs> uh, maybe this will go on the second channel. So, see you guys later.